Hello guys! I thought I would do a review of the uh, couple of items from the Vera Bradley Seashore line uh, that they came out with this summer with their new summer patterns. Um, when I went to, uh, I decided I really, really liked this tote, the Seashore tote that they had come out with. Um, and went to VeraBradley.com when I was going to order it, and I read some of the reviews, and the reviews were really mixed. Um, so then I went to YouTube to try and find some reviews on it, and really couldn't. So I thought I would create one. Um, if anybody out there is some, um, these should be making their way to the outlet if they haven't already, or if they haven't completely sold out, because they were super popular even with the mixed reviews. Um, with the Seashore Tote, though, I picked up one of these, um, one of the clear cosmetic bags. Um, this also came out with that Seashore Summer line. Um, this cosmetic bag is humongous. If you can see how big it is in relation to the actual tote. Um, I have not gotten a chance to use it yet. Uh, that's the back, just clear. Both of these are in the pattern Marina Paisley. Um, but I loved that they matched, um, but, and it doesn't, it doesn't hurt that it's super cute. And, um, what I bought this for was originally I was going to use this tote bag as my pool or beach bag. Um, and being that it was so nice and it was a little on the expensive side at $65, I didn't want my really greasy and, and gross sunscreen bottles just, um, getting the interior of the bag all dirty, and since this is um, PVC, uh, plastic, vinyl, whatever you want to call it, um, it's washable, and I can I can easily wash it out with some dish soap, and it's, as you can see, large enough to put um, big cans of sunblock, uh, bottles of sunblock, sunscreen, um, suntan lotion, all of that stuff that would make the bag dirty is going to go in here. Um, this bag retails for $24.00. Um, however, during the summer sale this year, um, sometime in, at the end of June, um, I got this for $12, so it was a great buy, and I actually just purchased another one um, because I have uh, some of the Tutti Frutti stuff um, in the Tutti Frutti pattern, so I can't wait to get that. Um, I do believe they still have some on the VeraBradley.com website. So anyway, this bag has top zipper closure opens pretty, I mean, it's, it's just a huge cosmetic bag. You could, you could probably find a lot of uses for this bag. So anyway, that was a clear cosmetic to go with the Seashore Tote. This is the Seashore Tote, and as I said, it got mixed reviews on Vera Bradley's website. Um, uh, most of the reviews kind of complained about the straps and not feeling substantial enough. They were kind of, um, reviewers felt like they were kind of flimsy. They were a little worried about um, them ripping away from the bag. Um, I can tell you that I have used this bag a bunch so far um, and it has held up just fantastically. Um, it's uh, just typical Vera Bradley quality though that, that it does look flimsy but I can tell you these straps have been troopers. I mean, I've had a lot of beach trips with this. It's gone. Um, I don't like to take it out to the pool um, simply because I don't want chlorine water getting on this. So far, it's held up fine in the sand. I um, haven't, haven't gotten it wet with any ocean water or anything. Um, the straps are leather. It's a beautiful, beautiful. I love these um, seashore totes with these um, and a, they call them whimsical designs, and this one has the boat anchor in Marina Paisley. Um, the bag itself is made of like a straw material, um, but the straw is like super, it's, it's like a fabric almost, so it's really, really thick, really, really durable feeling. Um, there is only one pocket in this bag. There are no, it's not meant for an organizational bag. It is a tote, so it's got this free swing pocket. And that is the inside of that. Another really nice feature of this bag is that the bottom of it, so here's the bag I just took. This is the base of the bag. Um, this comes out, and what's really cool is this opens. So you could slip. This is actually a really sturdy piece of plastic. It's not even cardboard. It's plastic. So if it got wet, it's kind of no big deal. But you can... Um, 
take that plastic uh, base out and you can wash this fabric because this is the bottom of the bag so um, being as the interior of Marina Paisley is white I probably will end up washing this um, a few times so um, like the reviewers I see why reviewers were concerned this is ba the back of the bag by the way and it's a navy straw fabric feeling type of material and it's it is a beautiful bag I can tell you I've gotten tons of tons of compliments on it um, I this one I think is sold out but um, you can still find them on eBay and things like that um, but I can I can I can tell you that this this has held up just beautifully um, I too was a little concerned about uh, the straps appearing too flimsy and just um, I don't know if I can get a close-up of that this is how they're stitched to the bag. Um, but like I said, it's held up just beautifully so far. And um, I think I'll get a lot of good use out of this. Um, this would be a great bag if you don't want to use, um, I think it retailed for $65. I got it at the summer sale, so it was cheaper. Um, but still, I would not, I just, I just would not want to take this out to the pool unless you have a place where you know it can stay dry. Um, what I use it for is... I do take it um, back and forth too when we travel to like friends' houses or um, uh, friends have, that have pools. I take a change of dry clothes in this and I actually use uh, another Vera bag, uh, the Vera Large Mesh Tote in Plum Crazy they came out with this year. I use that as my pool bag since it's mesh and it's washable and all that and wipeable. Um, but I take dry clothes in this. Um, this would be a great bag if you were going on a cruise and you're going on an excursion or something um, to take, you know, when you get off the ship to go on your daily excursion to tote with you because it is big enough. You can uh, use it, you know, not only as your handbag that day, but for purchases and, and whatnot that you make uh, during, you know, your time off the ship. Um, I think I'll actually be using that for a uh, cruise we're taking later this year. But anyway, that was my, um, those are my thoughts on the Seashore Tote. Just a beautiful bag. Um, and I hope that helps. Thanks. Have a good one.